Who plays the lottery more often, men or women? It's men. Around 42% of men play at least once a week, compared to 34% of women. I'm Jason Fry, and I won $23 million in the Florida Lotto. Historic Fort Myers, Florida has been home to soldiers, cowboys, and ranchers over the years. It's also home to lottery winner Jason Fry. This is where I used to work for about seven years. Jason was a bartender, struggling to support his family and pay off a house and an investment property. I was working basically two, three jobs to keep us afloat, but with two mortgages, we went through our savings and everything. And um, me and my wife got separated. On the verge of bankruptcy, playing the lottery was a luxury Jason couldn't afford. But one night, as a co-worker headed out to buy a lottery ticket, Jason made a split-second decision that would change the rest of his life. I ran after him and told him to get me some as well. So he went right across the street there to 7-Eleven, grabbed two uh, quick picks, walked back about five minutes later. I told him, I said, you know, if you win, we'll split it. If I win, we'll split it. On the night of the draw, Jason hit the computer before hitting the sack. Checked lottery ticket and read the first few numbers and couldn't believe it and kept going. <laughs> and I was... I went and read it about eight times and checked the date and checked the right thing and couldn't believe it. He'd won a whopping $23 million. Jason gave a third of his prize to the co-worker who bought the ticket and another third to his wife, paying off their mortgages before the couple divorced. After taxes, Jason was left with just $4 million. But single again and debt-free, it was more than enough for him to begin a new life. He quit his three jobs, hung out at the beach, and splurged on a new Cadillac Escalade and a head-turning spider road bike. But now that Jason didn't have to work anymore, he needed to find something else to pour his energy into. After six months, he made a decision to chase a dream many share but few can afford. When I first won, people asked me what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Jason's answer? To become a pro golfer. My vision was to eventually get on the PGA Tour, or maybe even get on the Seniors Tour. Jason trained with a coach five days a week, spending thousands to transform himself from bartender to pro golfer. But had this multi-millionaire found his calling? And would all the money and hard work pay off? Nope. Get going, get going, get going. Jeez. I'm Tyrone Curry. I won $3.4 million in the Washington State Lottery. While Seattle sleeps, school custodian Tyrone Curry arrives for work. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm just getting here. I'm going to start my day. It's uh, early, but not for me. After 33 years, it's just a piece of cake. Tyrone played Washington's Quinto Lottery often. Two lotto, two megas, two hit five. His wife checked his tickets that fateful day in 2006. She called me up and she said, you need to come home. Right now. We won the lottery. He's like, well, how much was it? And I'm like, I don't know. It's three, four, one. I don't know. There's too many zeros. I can't count that high. I said, you just need to come right now. <laughs> They'd won a hefty $3.4 million. That's $2.5 million after taxes. So did the Currys rush out and splurge? Not quite. When we first won, we didn't do anything. We were scared to do anything. We um, had to have our financial advisor... Tell us, go spend some money. He said, you got to go out and buy something so it could sink in that you actually have this kind of money. So that's when we went and bought the cars. And that was a hard thing to do, to write the check for that amount of money. Never written a check that big before. And it sunk in. Then the Currys vacationed in Hawaii and the Bahamas and bought a timeshare in Vegas. But upgrading to a millionaire's mansion just wasn't this couple's style. They were content with their modest home. Put siding up, buy the heat pump, put a fence up. We're not trying to be richy rich or anything like that because it's not us. 
But you'd think Tyrone would kiss his janitor's broom goodbye. Think again. In fact, this lottery winner loves working so much, he has not one, but four jobs. And he's sticking with all of them. This is job number two. <laughs> much better, much better. I go from my regular job into track practice. There we go. This is Evergreen High School. Great hop, great step. I'm the coach, and I do all the running and jumping events. What you want to do is just, just go back a ways. You're going to light jog, sprint into the exchange. Three. Three. Oh, good. Too soon, too soon. Right here. This is where we want the exchange. People keep asking him, why are you still here? Because he, he enjoys working here, loves the kids. He's a great coach. Three. I live for track. I was a track runner, triple jump, long jump, high jump. This is my first love right here. When Tyrone hit it big, he put his lottery money where his heart is. The first thing he said when he saw me is, we're getting our track. Because he always said, for as long as I've known him, that if he wins the lottery, he's going to get Evergreen a new track. And for the kids, a team makeover. This is a jacket. He came in with a box of uniforms, and it was like, wow. We don't get a lot of money for track, so that was my contribution to the kids. They deserve to have decent stuff so they could look presentable. Here we go. Tyrone's got big dreams for Evergreen's relay team. There you go, kid. You qualify in the top four, you advance to districts. From districts, you go to state, and that's the goal that was set to get to state. And their biggest test is coming up, the league meet preliminaries. Will Tyrone's time, money, and energy pay off?